Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about Braggots. Braggots are a remarkable fusion of meat and beer, combining the complex characteristics of honey and malt to create a beverage that's greater than the sum of its parts. With roots dating back centuries, Braggots offer a delightful way to experiment with flavors and craft a drink that blends the smooth, sweet notes of honey with the rich, robust undertones of malt. But before we dive in, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all my mead making tips and techniques. And as a special thank you for tuning in today, grab my free ebook, Mead Making at Home Easily, available via the link in the description or the pinned comment below. It's packed with troubleshooting tips and advanced strategies to elevate your mead making game. There are two main methods to create braggots, each offering its own set of advantages. Simultaneous fermentation. In this method, you ferment the honey and the malt together from the start, using beer wort as a base instead of water to dilute the honey. This approach melts the flavors of malt and honey right from the beginning, resulting in a more cohesive profile. Then there's sequential fermentation. Here's where you ferment the beer and the mead separately, then blend them together afterwards. This gives you greater control over flavor and balance, allowing you to fine tune the ratio of malt to honey until you achieve the perfect harmony. That's what I usually do when crafting a braggot. It's crucial to understanding how different flavor elements interact. Mead typically derives its balance from acidity, while beer leans on bitterness for its structure. These two components can often clash, so it's important to select your ingredients thoroughly. For instance, sour beers work exceptionally well in braggots, as their natural tartness aligns with the honey's acidity, creating a smooth and complementary taste. While it's possible to use hoppy beers, balancing the bitterness from hops and the honey sweetness requires precision and experience. The goal is to have a finished product where neither acidity nor bitterness overpowers each other. When conceptualizing a braggot, imagine a spectrum where one end represents beers with subtle honey notes and the other side is meads with slight malt presence. Honey beers. These are more beer-like, where malt is the dominant flavor with hints of honey. While enjoyable, they don't fully capture the essence of a true braggot. Traditional braggots, these should highlight the honey as well as the primary flavor, with malt providing a background complexity. Achieving this balance is essential for a braggot that truly showcases what makes this hybrid style unique. Choosing the right honey and malt is the key to a great braggot. For a honey-forward braggot, Use a high quality honey that stands out in the final product. Light floral honeys like clover and wildflower are excellent choices for a balanced profile. While bold honeys like orange blossom or buckwheat can introduce strong, distinctive notes. On the malt side, opt for lighter malts like Pilsner or Maris Otter if you want to keep the honey at the forefront. Darker malts such as roasted barley can overpower the honey, making the braggot taste more like a traditional beer. If experimenting with hops, choose your varieties with low bitterness, low alpha acids, but strong aroma characteristics like Saz or Hallertauer to complement rather than compete with the honey. As far as yeast selection and fermentation techniques, the yeast you select should have a profound impact on your braggot's flavor profile. For a more beer-like braggot, L yeast such as US05 or Y yeast 1056 can enhance the malt flavors. Meanwhile, Specific yeasts like Lalvin 71B or QA23 help preserve the honey's delicate aromas and sweetness. Some mead makers and brewers opt to blend different yeast strains, using one for primary fermentation and another for secondary, to balance the character of both honey and malt. Fermenting honey and malt together creates a unified flavor, but it can lead to challenges due to honey's lack of nutrients. To avoid sluggish fermentations, use my four-stage nutrient addition method to keep the yeast healthy and active throughout the entire process. This method ensures the yeast receives the necessary nutrients in a staggered manner, preventing nutrient deficiencies and reducing the risk of a stuck fermentation. Braggots, particularly those using sour beers or acidic ingredients, require monitoring of pH levels. A pH that drops too low can inhibit the yeast activity and lead to a stuck fermentation. Track your pH levels with a reliable pH meter and adjust as necessary with potassium bicarbonate or calcium carbonate to keep the pH above 3.5. As with all meads, braggots benefit from extended aging. Allow your braggot to mature for several months to a year to let the flavors meld and develop. This aging process softens any harsh edges 
and results in a smoother, more refined beverage. Prior to bottling, ensure your bracket is clear and sediment free by using fining agents like bentonite or employing a cold crash method. Some common bracket issues are stuck fermentation. Due to honey's low nutrient profile, brackets are prone to sluggish and stuck fermentation. Ensure you use a robust nutrient regimen and monitor the fermentation closely. If your bracket ends up too malt forward, blend it with a lighter mead or add additional honey after stabilizing to bring the sweetness back into focus. If the bracket tastes too sharp or bitter, back sweetening with honey or using non-fermentable sweeteners like lactose can help balance the profile. I never use lactose, but something people do. If you want to carbonate your bracket, stabilize it completely before adding priming sugar or use a spunding valve to ferment it in. This prevents bottle bombs or excessive carbonation levels. To recap, the best braggots balance the core identity of a mead with depth of character and complexity of a well-crafted beer. Whether you choose to ferment the honey and the malt together or blend them after separate fermentations, the goal is to create a harmonious beverage that highlights the best of both worlds. With thoughtful ingredient selection and careful attention to balance, you can create a braggot that's not just unique, but also unforgettable. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more mead making tips. And don't forget to grab my free ebook, Mead Making at Home Easily, using the link in the description or the pinned comment below. If you're interested in more mead making tips, check out my other mead making videos over here. Cheers to your new mead making adventure.